When it comes to deck boxes for your Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and other trading card games, there is an exponentially increasing variety from which to choose. From excellent deck boxes to failing deck boxes to every hue in between, determining which ones are right for you and your needs can be difficult with limited information. That's why in this video I will take a critical examination of the new line of deck boxes from Dex Protection. The baseline, the pro line, and the newly upgraded Creation series. Has Dex taken a step in the right direction or wrong direction? Let's take a look at their new collection. But first, a quick word about this video. This video is brought to you by Mass Drop, the online group buy website, which is going to feature the items reviewed in this video as well as many others. And so if you are interested in purchasing any of the items that I review in this video, you can follow the link in the description to see them for sale over at Mass Drop. Now, while Mass Drop has sponsored this video so that it will coincide with their offering of these items, my review and my evaluation of those items is just that, my own. Sponsored videos have no effect on reviews or grades whatsoever. So if you are interested in purchasing any of the items that I review in this video, follow the links in the description to Mass Drop. Let's begin with the Dex Protection Baseline. The Baseline is a flip style box made with the casual player in mind. Nothing reflects this fact more to me than its MSRP, a staggeringly inexpensive $6. Considering other flip boxes can run anywhere between $14.99 and $19.99, this really makes the Baseline stand out immediately. But what about quality? The Baseline can hold a double sleeved 100 card deck. Double sleeved, yep. It features a thin velvet interior lining and slightly textured exterior. To be honest, the exterior looks very thin, almost paper-like. But again, if you are going for a bargain buy, then you can't expect it to be handcrafted wood. As a budget item, the best feature about this deck box is naturally the price, an incredibly low MSRP. As far as the magnets are concerned, however, they are very, very little above average. I can get a few soft shakes from it and it holds together, so I don't think it's gonna go flying open in my backpack, but as soon as I really give it a shake, it comes open. Not bad, but not great. Unfortunately, there is a major problem that I discovered with this deck box. Here's the problem. The materials are just too cheap. See this wear and tear? This is literally after just a few days of me using it casually to take decks down to in-store events. This is not the result of a stress test or other endurance. It's literally the result of me just opening and closing it repeatedly as I toss it to and from my backpack and travel from my home to the card store. The only thing holding this together at this point is the velvet lining which I can tear like a piece of paper. So this is a tough one because it's super super inexpensive, it has above average magnets, and it'll hold a hundred double sleeved cards. But it's just got that terrible quality of exterior materials. I'm right on the borderline with this one and if you asked me do I recommend it, I would say no. I'm afraid that I don't and so it's a D plus. I can't recommend this. But I suppose there may be some players that out there looking for an ultra budget flip style box that might find this meets their needs. But I think it needs some serious improvements. Next up is the Dex Protection Pro Line, a new design available in two sizes. In contrast to the baseline, the Pro Line has one of the thickest exteriors I have ever seen for a product like this. Seriously, this is some thick, tough, thick plastic on the outside. Ow, pounding it with my fist actually hurts, it does. The top panel of the flap is padded, adding to the Pro Line's overall protection. Inside is what really makes the Pro Line distinct. Both sizes come with removable and interchangeable compartments for your cards and accessories. You know me by now, I am always a big fan of customization for the player, since of course each player is going to have different needs. So I like the idea of being able to remove these trays and reconfigure the boxes to your personal needs. The large tray can hold a double-sleeved commander deck, 
and it has a built-on side compartment that can hold about 15 double-sleeved cards, or can just be used as space for counters and dice, although it is a bit tight for those spin-downs. The smaller tray will hold a 60-card double-sleeved deck with the same built-on compartment, and there's also a standalone 15-card compartment. But I think we have some real issues here with optimization, because when you look at the small pro line, then you've got two of these small little side compartments. And yes, well, I guess ideally one of them might be for your sideboard, and the other might be for counters and dice, they're really quite small and compact, the spin downs barely fit, and it really seems like a setup for two sideboards, or I'm not even sure. I really wish instead that we were just offering the large inner trays here, or perhaps that they were completely interchangeable, and at no point were these little 15 card side compartments attached. Either way, I feel like this is not the most ideal optimization. And the trays are quite a bit of a tight fit. While not highly problematic, I did encounter numerous times where, because it was such a tight fit, I had some trouble getting cards in and out of these little trays. The ends of them seemed prone to bending inwards as well, adding to those problems. Let's test the magnets out on the pro line. So I'm going to give this a shake from different angles. The flap is here. I'll be sure to keep my hands like so, so that I'm not accidentally holding down on that flap. Let's start with directly shaking all right, hey, pretty good. And this is, I would think, the most likely way for it to come open because that's the weight of ooh, everything. Heavy, it's heavy. Pushing down on it, let's try this direction. Forward, around, I think I can get this. Come on, open, open, there we go. Uh, so, still not perfect, but I'd say that's above average. That took a heck of a shake. The small pro line has an MSRP of $29.99, while the large is only five bucks more at $34.99. These are tough, solid, and the magnets make them super secure. But the interior layout is not ideal, and I feel there's room for better optimization and maybe trays that are not quite so tight of a fit. For now, it's a B plus. The last deck box from Dex Protection is not a new offering, but an upgraded version of their now named Creation Deck Box, which previously were just referred to in small, medium, and large titles. If you would remember from my review of those deck boxes, I really loved the design in all its sizes and all the variety and quality exteriors that they had to offer, with numerous colors as well. That wonderful Dex Protection Safiano exterior and velvet interior paired so nicely with the optimal use of space. The problem, of course, were the magnets, which were super, super weak, and kept this out of A territory. So have they improved? Let's compare and contrast, shall we? Here is the old version of the Dex Protection Creation Large Boxes. These magnets are so weak that this box, having no cards in it, I can still shake and very easily, look at that, make the flap come open. That is just the weight of this tiny flap that caused it to come open. Imagine if this had been filled with cards. Well, let's try the new version of the creation and fill it with cards. Here is the new version of the creation. It's identical in its interior layout in every way, but it's got the new and improved magnets. Let's take a look. Shaking really really hard, making sure not to put my hands in any way that would interfere. Yeah. Wah. Whoa. With the flap. And I can say that, yes, indeed. Come on. I think we've got some really good magnets on this box. Can hold over 200 double sleeved cards with the configuration nicely set up for many different options, be it for commander decks with tokens, commander and standard decks, or whatever your larger storage needs are. MSRP is only $19.99, which combined with these upgraded magnets, I feel pushes this over the line into A minus. Really glad to see the improvements here. Remember that all of these items are currently available on the group buy site Mass Drop. And if you are interested, you can follow the links in the description below and buy any of the products reviewed in today's video, which I hope was of some use to you. Gideon. Oh, I'm sorry. These admissions forms say Kithion. That's probably because Kithion is my birth name. 
It's the name I was given, and went by pretty much all my life before my spark ignited. Oh, I see. And so you changed your name later in life? Someone mispronounced it. I... I'm sorry? Someone mispronounced my name as Gideon. So I just went by that, cause... Because... Eh, 